This is how you can make an advanced reaction rules system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code, and over on YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go and get into the video. Alright, so to start, we can go over to our schemas.js, and we can go ahead and create our reaction rs.js. This is going to be our reaction roles, and we can go ahead and input this code into it. So we're going to go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be a string, our message, which will be a string, our emoji, which is going to be a string, and our role, which is also going to be a string, and we can just go ahead and call it reaction. Now, if you don't have MongoDB set up already, go ahead and watch the MongoDB guide in the description below. So after doing that, we can go over to moderation here, and we can go ahead and create reaction roles.js. And here we can do const, and we're going to go ahead and get our slash command builder, we can get our embed builder, and we can also get our permissions bit field. Then we can do equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. Then we can do const reaction equals require, and we can do dot dot slash, we can do dot dot slash, we can get schemas, and we can get our reaction rules. Then we can do module dot exports, and we can do equals, we're going to open this up, and here we can go ahead and get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. Then we can go ahead and set a name, which is going to be our reaction rules, and we can go ahead and set a description here, and for our description, we can go ahead and say manage your reaction rules system. Then we can go ahead and add a sub command, this is going to be our command arrow function command us at name this will be our ad then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say add a reaction rule to a message and we can go ahead and add a string option we can go ahead and do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be our message id then we can go ahead and set a description here this is going to be the message to react to and we can go ahead and set required on this to true then we can go ahead and add another string option so we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be our emoji and we can go ahead and set a description we can go ahead and say the emoji to react with and we're also going to go ahead and set required to true there then we can add a role option and we can go ahead and do option arrow function option dot set name this will be our role and we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say the role you want to give and we can go ahead and set required to true so next what we can go ahead and do is we're actually going to go ahead and copy this sub command because we're going to go ahead and create another one almost exactly like this and we can actually go ahead and edit this to fit what we need to make it so this is going to be remove and we can go ahead and say remove a reaction role from a message. We can keep our message ID. We can also keep our emoji. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete the role string right there. So you can go ahead and delete that. We can add a comma. We're going to do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction. And we can go ahead and open this up. We can do const. We're going to go ahead and get options, guild, and our channel. And then we can go ahead and do equals interaction just like that. We can also do const sub equals options that get to sub command. And we can also get our emoji so const emoji equals options that get string that is going to be our emoji string then we can say let e and we can say const message equals await channel dot messages dot fetch and we can go ahead and get our options that get string this is going to be our message id then all we have to do is catch an error here and we can go ahead and open this up and we can do e equals error so we're going to go ahead and set our error variable to the exact error that we got there then we can say if and we're going to say no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has we can go ahead and get our permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator we can go ahead and return away to interaction dot apply we can say content and we can say you don't have perms to use this system and we're also going to go ahead and set informal on this message to true so we can go ahead and create one more check so we can do if and we can go and get our e we can go ahead and return await interaction or apply we can say content and we can go ahead and say be sure to get a message from and we can go ahead and get our channel variable and we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true as well so next we can do const data equals await a reaction dot find one this is going to be our guild which can be our guild dot id we get our message which is going to be our message dot id and we can get our emoji which is going to be our emoji just like that then we can go ahead and switch and we're going to go ahead and get our sub and we can open this up we're going to get our case which is going to be our add we can add a colon here we can do if data we can open this up we're going to go ahead and return await interaction 
caption to reply. We can say content, and we can say it looks like you already have this reaction set up using, and we can go ahead and get emoji, and then we can go ahead and say on this message, and we can go ahead and set informal to true, and just like that. And we can say else, we're gonna open this up. We can do const role equals options that get to role. This is going to be our role. Then we can do await reaction dot create, and we can actually go ahead and open this up. And here we can go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be our guild.id. We can get our message, which is going to be our message.id. We can get our emoji, which will be our emoji. And we can also get our role, which is going to be our role.id. Then we can go ahead and make our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We're going to go ahead and set a color here. So I'm going to go ahead and get blurple. Then we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and open this up. I'm just going to go ahead and get this emoji here and we can go ahead and say I have added a reaction role to and we can go ahead and get message.url with and we can go ahead and get our emoji and we can say and the role and we can go ahead and get our role. Then we can do await message.react and we can go ahead and get our emoji and we're just going to go ahead and catch an error and just do nothing. Then we can go ahead and await interaction.reply and we can say embeds and we can go ahead and get our embed and we're going to go ahead and set informal to true as well. Then we can come down here and we're going to go ahead and break and then we can get our case which is going to be remove and we can say if no data we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and return await interaction to reply we can say content and we can go ahead and say it doesn't look like that reaction role exists and we can go ahead and say informal to true as well then we can go ahead and open this up here and we're going to go ahead and delete it so we can do await reaction that deletes many and we can go in and get our guild, which is going to be our guild.id. We can get our message, which can be our message.id. And we can get our emoji, which is going to be our emoji, just like that. Next, we can go ahead and make an embed, but we already have one right here. So we can actually just go ahead and copy it. And we're going to go ahead and paste it down there. Now in here, we're just going to go ahead and edit it. So we can say, I have removed the reaction role from, and we can go ahead and get our message.url. And we can go ahead and say our emoji, just like that. Then we can go ahead and await interaction to reply. We can say embeds and we can get our embed and we're also going to say informal to true as well. So with that, we are actually done with this part. So we can go ahead and move into our index.js now and we're going to go to the very bottom here and I'm going to go ahead and say reaction roles so we can find that later. Next, we can go ahead and define our schema. So we can do const reactions equals require and we can go ahead and get dot slash we can get schemas and we can get our reaction role schema. Then we can do client dot on and go ahead and get events dot message reaction add and we can do async and we can go ahead and get our reaction and our user and we can go ahead and open this up. I believe you're going to need the guild message reactions intent and maybe the reactions partial for this to work. Then we can go and say if no reaction dot message dot guild ID then we can go ahead and return and we can also say if user dot bot we can go ahead and return as well. We can do let CID equals and we can open this up. Now we're going to go ahead and get an arrow and a colon and we can open this up. We're going to go ahead and get our reaction dot emoji dot name and then we can do a colon and and we can go ahead and get our reaction.emoji.id and we can do an arrow. So what this is, is this is the logic behind this. So we're gonna add one more logical statement and you'll see what I mean. So we're gonna do if no, reaction.emoji.id, we can set our CID to reaction.emoji.name. So if the reaction is a default emoji, it will not have an ID. It's just gonna go ahead and appear as a reaction. For example, it's gonna look like that in the console. Whereas if you were to get our reaction.emoji.id, it would look like a bunch of numbers like that. So for that to work, we actually have to piece it together into a reaction ID that we could actually use. Um, and then obviously we're not gonna be able to do that if the emoji doesn't have an ID. So that's why we just use this logic here to say if it's a default emoji basically, then we can just go ahead and return and set it to the default emoji uh, so that we don't run into any errors later within this code. So next we new cons data equals await reactions.find1 and we're gonna get our guild, which is going to be our reaction.message.guild ID and we can get our message which is going to be our reaction.message.id we can get our emoji which is going to be cid and just like that next we can go ahead and say if no data we can just go ahead and return and do nothing here then after doing that we can go ahead and say const guild equals awaits client.guilds.cache.get and we can go ahead and get our reaction.message.guild.id just like that then we can say const member equals await guild.members.cache.get and we can go ahead and get our user user.id 
So we're getting our guild from the client, and then we're going to go in and get the member from that guild so that we can give the member the role, because we cannot give users roles because users aren't within any servers. Members are what's in the server, so we can actually give the member the role, not the user. So then we can do try. We can open this up. We're going to go ahead and get await member.roles.add. We can go ahead and get our data.role. Then we can go ahead and catch an error. So we can do catch and get our error. And we're just going to go in and return and do nothing. So that's it for the reaction add. As in, if you were to react to the message, it's going to go ahead and give you the rule. But now we want to go ahead and make the logic where if you were to unreact from the message, you want it to take away that rule. So we can actually go ahead and copy this code because it's going to be the exact same. So just go ahead and copy that client on an event and we can go ahead and paste it down here. We're going to go ahead and change this to message reaction remove. And we're going to go ahead and keep everything else the same because believe it or not, it is the exact same code. The only thing you actually have to change is you can do member.roles.remove here and that's it. So with that, we're actually done with this entire system. So we can go ahead and restart the bot to test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. So so I'm going to go ahead and say reaction roles. We can do react with and we can go ahead and get the discord logo to get the test role or something like that. So that's going to be like your reaction role message. Now there's a reaction here. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. Um, and then we can actually go ahead and set this up. So we can go ahead and get reaction roles add and we have our message ID here. We're going to go ahead and get the emoji. So that's going to be the discord logo and we can go ahead and get the role, which is going to be our test. So it's going to go ahead and set it up. Now, the thing here is it said it set it up, but it didn't actually set it up. So you know it didn't set it up because it didn't get the reaction. And as you can see here, that's because the emoji we tried to use is not within the Discord server that the tutorial bot has access to. So we can actually go ahead and try this again. So we can go ahead and get reaction, get our message ID. This time we're going to go ahead and get a different Discord logo that we know the tutorial bot has access to. So this is the one that's in my server. So then we can go ahead and get the test roll this time. And this time it's actually going to go ahead and set it up. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and catch an error. I, we actually did catch an error for that, but you can go ahead and reply to that if you'd like to. But for me, I'm just going to leave it as that. So now that it's all set up, we can go in and dismiss this message. And as you can see, I do not have the test role. And the test role is yellow, as you can see from this bot here. So we can just go ahead and react. And as you can see, it's just going to go ahead and give me that test role. Now, if I unreact there, it's going to go ahead and remove it. So I can go ahead and react and unreact as much as I want. And it's going to go ahead and continue to give me the role and take away the role. We can go ahead and spam that. It's going to take it away and it's going to give it. And I believe we can also add more reaction roles to this message with this code. So we can do that. We can go ahead and get our emoji. This time we can go ahead and get this one. And this time, let's go ahead and get this role. So I'll be orange when I react. And there it is. It's going to go ahead and react. So this time I can go ahead and get both roles, the test and the other orange one. We can go ahead and unreact from that one. There goes my test role. And if we unreact from the verified emoji, that goes away as well. So the last thing that we can go ahead and try to do is we can go ahead and remove the role from here. So we can go ahead and get reaction roles remove. We're going to go ahead and get our message ID, which is going to be this one. And we can go ahead and get that logo or that emoji. It's going to go ahead and say it removed it. And if we go ahead and try to react here, nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to get that role. And if we go ahead and try to react to the other one that still exists, I am still going to get that role. But I'm not going to get the role if I react to the one that has been removed. So that's how you can code an advanced reaction role system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.